Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the body of Torvosaurus. Before drawing the whole body of the Torvosaurus, we must understand its body shape. It looked similar to the Allosaurus. However, there's a big difference in body shape from typical carnivorous dinosaurs such as the Allosaurus, that is, its legs didn't seem to be very long, and its body looked as if it was flattened or stretched. Its body was not as rotund as many dinosaurs. It was relatively thin, because it had a narrow pelvis, which made it look more slender. The front half of its body looked more square, and its head was long. When drawing, we need to reflect its long and square body shape. In addition, we want to draw a Torvosaurus walking forward. So one of its legs was probably off the ground, and the other was touching the ground. As it walked, the two legs would alternate. When drawing, pay attention to the changes in the muscles, and how different body parts moved as it walked. Now, let's draw the body of the Torvosaurus. First, determine the position of its head. We can set the head to be this big. Since its body and tail were relatively long, the head shouldn't look too big. Then move on to the neck, which was almost as long as the head, draw the neck until here. Moving backward, there would be its body and tail. We can make its tail swing slightly to the back, so that it would look a bit shorter, starting with the head. Let's draw its pointed nose and the flat top part of its head. There were two small bumps on the lacrimal bones in front of the eyes. And the eyes were located here. Then move on to the back of its head. Followed by the temporal fenestry. Then draw the antipodal fenestry in front of the eyes. Followed by its mouth. Its head was quite square and the lower jaw was pretty straight. Now let's draw the lower jaw with the mouth open. The tip of the lower jaw was slender, while the muscles at the cheek were thicker. The four front teeth on the upper jaw were short. The teeth became larger towards the back, right up to the front of the eyes, the teeth became tiny. The same goes for teeth on the lower jaw, which were generally smaller than those on the upper jaw. Then move on to its tongue. And the muscles at the mouth. The muscles here can be given a fuller look. At the front, there was a nostril with a large area of soft tissue. Then draw some large scales at the front of the mouth. Draw some folds below the eyes. Then move on to its neck. The neck was positioned at the back of the head, bulging slightly upwards. Then move on to the muscles on the side of the neck. Followed by the throat. Now 
Now let's draw its body and back. Hero's chest and shoulders. There were some folds at the base of the shoulders. Then move on to the forelimb, namely the upper arm and lower arm. For the upper arm and lower arm on the other side, we can shade this area. Then draw its fingers, the first finger was short, the second was long. The third was even shorter. So were the fingers on the other hand. Then move on to its claws. The first being the longest, the second being shorter, and the third the shortest. Draw some large scales on the back of the fingers. And add some folds on the wrists and elbows. Then outline its ribs. The Torvosaurus had a long and slender body, with short pubic bones. The whole body looked a bit different from other carnivorous dinosaurs, that typically had a narrow chest, a wide pelvis and a large belly. The front and rear half of the Torvosaurus body were almost the same height, now let's draw its legs. Start with the pelvis. Then move on to the upper leg and knee. In fact, the legs of the Torvosaurus were not long. The leg we are drawing was in a contracted state, so the calf muscles can be drawn fuller. Next draw the ankle. Its pubic bone wasn't long, which would probably reach here, so its belly looked flat. Then draw the other leg. The upper part of this leg was blocked, so just draw the lower leg. The calf muscles extended to the ankle. Then move onto the sole of the foot. It had full toes, with one off the ground. Some large scales can be drawn on the instep. From this angle, we can only see three toes on the other foot, so drawing three toes will do. Large scales can be drawn on the back of the toes. We can shade this part of the leg and draw the tail at the back.
Between the legs and the tail, draw a layer of skin and some folds. Then, we can draw a series of spikes on the side of its back. On both sides of the body, draw some dots to represent the irregular distribution of large scales. Then draw a little bit of dust. Good, like this, we've finished drawing the body of Torvosaurus.